Hey everybody, this is Helium Lemon 15, and we're recording some more creaks. That is to say, I was commentating, but that's okay because that's kind of par for the course when it comes to puzzle games. Anyway, what do we got going on here? <laughs> He's still going like, oh, is this the right book? No. Is this the right book? I'm gonna go look for it. And then, Mr. Nutty professor guy realizes like, hey, there's a person here. And he's a good guy. He's gonna help us. Also, today is Halloween. So, it is the 31st. Anyone born today is a Scorpio. And also, they're like, oh, I'm born on Halloween, so that's really cool, but whatever. Um... And uh, it's kind of weird because Halloween being on a Sunday and all that, I don't know if most people have celebrated it already, like on Friday or Saturday or Shmo, shmo Day. Um, oh, oh, no. Okay. So this is another puzzle involving some stained glass malarkey. Because clearly everything is malarkey. And, uh,. Yeah. So we have one jellyfish, two dogs, three lamps, and one switch. And the switch is our ticket to the end because the switch will um, keep turn that dog into a desk and allow us to get past him. Turn that dog into a de desk. This game sounds very strange when you actually try to verbalize what is happening. Verbalize the situation. I sound like I'm giving mental health techniques. Verbalize the situation. Um, count to ten. Um, yeah, what do I want to do? Puzzle games always give me a hard time. Like I, I'm playing Evans, I'm playing Evans Remains right now, and that game really throws me. <laughs> I'll, I've only used a walkthrough for one puzzle so far, and it's usually because I think the solution is more complicated than it actually is. But sometimes I just need to stare at, at a puzzle for like 15 to 30 minutes before it actually makes sense to my brain. Which raises the question, Helium, why are you doing puzzle LPs? Which the correct response is, I don't know. <laughs> don't you go eat pancake and leave me alone. Eat pancake. Oh no, wait. No. I, I died. I so dead. I'm dead right now. Ruff, 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 ruff. Sounds like a, a Labrador. Labradors are, have so much energy. Sometimes they're kind of annoying. Which makes perfect sense why Mr. Peanut Butter is a Labrador, because he's just one of those people that has such a positive spin on life, it's almost annoying at times. Which, I like to think that I, I have think positive thoughts, but like, I'm kind of a depressed person, so like, I have high highs, but I also have low lows, and my outlook on life is more like you got to do the best with what you have. I mean, the world is beautiful, but society is not always beautiful. Like, it's not a great world if people always just do what whatever feels the best. Man, what, how do I always get on these weird tangents about... <laughs> anyway, I don't know. Anyway, it's just weird because I was telling, I s don't, this just kind of came up and 
I still kind of almost regret saying this, but like I told my friend at camp uh, the past summer that I d didn't think I would ever have kids because that I thought, I don't know. I said, oh, life is pain and I couldn't bear like bringing that upon somebody else. And she was like, well, that's depressing. <laughs> and maybe I kind of regret saying that, I don't know. We want that jellyfish to come up here. So basically what we want the jellyfish to do is switch places with the other dog. But I don't remember how to do that. It's kind of dangerous n navigating around there. And I feel like you're seeing the first puzzle part of this puzzle over and over again because I haven't edited this video down yet, but that's what you get. And don't get upset. I remember we used to say that in second grade. It was like, or first grade or whatever it was. You get what you get and you don't get upset. Maybe it was Bible school. No, I don't know. It was probably second or third grade. And all the kids, we used to say, Sega. And that was our chant. And that kept us in line. That kept us off the streets. It kept us from sniffing chalk and going to town and listening to the bad music like the animals. <laughs> Clearly, the animals filled our heads with sexual ideas. Oh, and don't let me mention Weird Al. Of co clear, clearly, I'm kidding about all this, but I don't think... I don't think a lot of people share my sense of humor. I just kind of say random things and expect people to laugh at them, and maybe my sense of humor is very shaped by Homestar Runner and stuff like that. But, like, the stuff that I say makes even less sense than Homestar Runner because that's usually, I don't know, never, I don't know, that's not necessarily true. You are gonna die, what are you doing? Don't be an idiota. Um... So, yeah. Yeah, the question is, like, do I want to change up the games that I'm doing on this channel for a little bit? Um, I haven't exactly had the most time to record, but I don't know. I, I'm also not really at, at home, so I don't think of it as like a, a recording time, but I also think of it as like plenty of time to play video games and goo goof off. Because I'm basically on a vacation and like once I get back home I'm probably going to go back to being pretty busy and applying for master's programs and my dad helping me with that, which is real. Let's admit, that's real. That's how it is. Um, here we go. We get the jellyfish to go around. We get the dog to chase me. It's not that hard. And then that way the jellyfish will be... <gasps> Ugh, I need to go to bed soon because I'm on a farm and I need to wake up early tomorrow morning to um, feed the dogs. But I like staying up because I was trying to beat the next level on Evan's Remains. I don't know. Or, you know, listen to some hip music like Lemon Demon. I don't know. Is Lemon Demon hip? I, I guess in the right circles it is. Hip to the java bean. And, uh... Yeah, tomorrow is actually Day of the Dead. Which is so funny because I've been thinking about Grim Fandango a lot lately. And... It's... I don't remember what day I actually beat it, but like... Like exactly one year ago. I was playing that game for the first time. Like, experiencing it for the first time. And had I known that it was, like, no, Day of the Dead was November 1st, and I was playing Grim Fandango, I'd have been like, that's so fitting, I'm gonna, you know, 
do something expressly, expressly to connect Grim Fandang. Just go, get, go under, oh my god, the puzzle is not that complicated. Oh my god. Yes, that's all you're supposed to do. You, and you don't have to turn off the light. I guess you could. No, you want to keep the light on. I don't know why I turned off the light. Stupid. <laughs> Stupid idiot. M for Mario? No! W for Waluigi! Hehe. <laughs> Goes into woman's restroom. Because it's W for Waluigi. Oh, man. That's just one of the, like, dozens, probably hundreds by now, of fantastic memes that my friend has sent me. Dude. Okay, how can I make uh, this puzzle interesting for... Uh, but in any way, we've been enjoying the scenery down here in Virginia and driving a lot around the mountains, and it's fall colors right now, so it's super nice. And uh, eggnog ice cream is a thing. And my aunt has an outdoor hot tub, so I got to sit in the hot tub and look at the stars, which was pretty dope. And... Uh, we went to Stanton, which is nearby, uh, and Stanton has this great uh, pho restaurant. It's just a baller pho restaurant. Oh my goodness. And yes, I say baller now. I don't know. Okay, now the drums are playing, but I haven't self. Well, it's like I'm on the right track, so it's just like, do that. And then that's the puzzle. And I've still been playing ukulele and the impossible lair. And I really like that game, but just sometimes it feels like overwhelming, like when you really need to clean stuff out in order to pro progress. Like you really need to know like where the hell all the extra things and like twit coins and you really need to look carefully for all that stuff to progress. And that's fine for me because I'm kind of a completionist anyway, but like... <laughs> this idiot, he's like... Got like a hundred books and they're all the wrong one. I don't know if I mentioned this, but that music is made out of an egg slicer. He's plucking an egg slicer like a harp. It's pretty fantastic. Anyway, I'm about to say goodnight, and I hope you enjoyed this highly agitational episode of Creeks. So take care and see you in the next one.